Honey Badger vs. Tasmanian Devil Who would win a fight between these two animals? Some say honey badgers don't care, but that reputation is hardly fair. The honey badger is part of the weasel family, related to skunks, otters, ferrets, and other badgers. Its proper name is Rattel, but it gets the common name honey badger from what seems to be its favorite food. Honey. Yet what the animal is actually looking to eat are the bee larvae found in the honey. The Tasmanian Devil is not just a Looney Tunes cartoon character. Tasmanian Devils are small marsupials with rat-like features, sharp teeth, and coarse black or brown fur. Diminutive as it may be, don't be fooled. This creature has a fighting style that is quite intimidating. Size and Description Honey badgers are large mustelids with a body length of 23 to 27 inches and a mass ranging from 17 to 27 pounds. Their size varies across their geographic range, with measurements taken on honey badgers in Africa showing them to be slightly larger than individuals from Asian populations. This species exhibits sexual dimorphism, with the males being larger than the females. This species is characterized by having a stocky body, about 10 inches high at the shoulder, with a large skull, small eyes, and a muscular neck and shoulders. Though the color varies slightly with subspecies, in general the lower half of the body is a dark black, with an upper mantle that is either gray or bright white. The forefeet are strong and wide, with large claws that are useful for grasping prey and running. In contrast, the hind feet are small with short claws. Honey badgers have very thick, loose skin, which prevents a predator from getting a firm grasp on them and enables them to easily twist and bite the attacker. These famously feisty mammals have a coat of coarse brown or black fur and a stocky profile that gives them the appearance of a baby bear. Most have a white stripe or patch on their chest, and light spots on their sides or rear end. They have long front legs and shorter rear legs, giving them a lumbering pig-like gait. The Tasmanian Devil is the world's largest carnivorous marsupial, reaching 30 inches in length and weighing up to 26 pounds although its size will vary widely depending on its specific range and the availability of food. Its oversized head houses sharp teeth and strong muscular jaws that can deliver, pound for pound, one of the most powerful bites of any mammal. Range and Habitat Honey badgers occur in Africa, southwestern Asia, and the Indian subcontinent. The area of their distribution covers most parts of sub-Saharan Africa, stretching from the Western Cape, South Africa, northwards, reaching southern Morocco and southwestern Algeria. In Asia, the badgers are found on Arabian Peninsula, Iran as well as Western Asia, from Turkmenistan to the Indian Peninsula. These terrestrial mammals are found in different environments, from tropical and subtropical green and riparian forest to desert, from grassland to rocky hills, from open woodland to thorn forest and arid steppe. Currently, the Tasmanian Devil is found only in Tasmania, although fossil evidence suggests that it once occupied much of the Australian mainland. It has been suggested that its absence in many previously occupied areas can be explained by competition with the introduced dingo in Australia. Tasmanian devils are numerous throughout Tasmania, except in areas where there has been extensive habitat fragmentation and deforestation. They are most numerous in coastal heath and rangeland areas, where agricultural practices maintain a constant supply of carrion. They also occur in open dry sclerophyll forest and mixed sclerophyll rainforest. 
Their dens typically are located in hollow logs, caves or burrows. Diet. What's on the menu? Everything. The honey badger has an appetite for food, ranging from small mammals and the young of large mammals, to birds, reptiles, insects, carrion, and even a little vegetation, including juicy fruits. Curious and energetic, Tasmanian devils travel long distances each night in their pursuit of food, sometimes covering as much as 16 kilometers. They use their keen senses of smell and hearing to find prey or carrion. As carnivorous marsupials, Tasmanian devils are basically surviving on small prey such as snakes, birds, fish, insects, and they are carrion eaters, scavenging anything that comes their way. But they also hunt live prey such as small mammals and birds. Because of their tearing, shearing teeth and powerful jaws, devils can eat most of a carcass, including the bones. Behavior Honey badgers are solitary and nomadic. They occupy a large range, moving around daily to forage. Female honey badgers tend to travel shorter distances per day, around 10 kilometers, while males may forage for as much as 27 kilometers per day. Males have been known to meet up with other adult-sized honey badgers after foraging and exchange grunts while sniffing each other and rolling around in the sand. Honey badgers have been known to defecate in holes and mark with their urine or anal scent glands to indicate to other animals that their burrow is nearby. Honey badgers are notoriously aggressive animals. Males in particular defend mates with incredible ferocity if threatened. Male interactions become aggressive if one of the males attempts to intrude into the marked burrows. They begin a dominance dance to determine who will stay. Tasmanian devils are nocturnal, meaning that they hunt and interact after sunset. They typically remain in a home range, but are not territorial, despite their confrontational manner. When they do not have babies in their pouches, Tasmanian devils enjoy swimming. They will wade about in the water and feel around with their paws, similar to raccoons. When Tasmanian devils are threatened, they yawn to show their large teeth. This is not an aggressive display, but a fearful one. They will also sneeze violently prior to fighting with other devils. Tasmanian devils produce a strong, unpleasant smell when stressed. All of these behaviors are typically bluffs and actually reduce the likelihood of a fight when feeding at a carcass. Now let's see who will win the fight Honey Badger versus Tasmanian Devil. Both animals are very formidable. The devil has a stronger bite, while the badger is larger and has much better claws. Both of them routinely survive attacks from much larger predators. Raw attitude would probably be the honey badger, as it is absolutely fearless. It wouldn't hesitate to mix it up with a lion and could probably be an alarming ankle biter to an elephant if it had to. It has few predators due to its thick skin and ferocious defensive capabilities. Its skin is remarkably loose and allows the honey badger to twist and turn freely within it. The skin around its neck is a quarter inch thick, its eyes are small and the ears are little more than ridges on the skin, an adaptation to avoiding damage while fighting. The honey badger has short legs armed with very strong claws, which are remarkably long on the forelimbs. The Tasmanian devil is smaller, the size of a small dog. Despite its small size, it has a stocky, muscular build and a large head and neck with a very wide gape. The Tasmanian devil's large head and neck allow it to generate the strongest bite per unit body mass of any living mammal and it hunts prey as well as scavenging carrion. A Tasmanian devil could easily break your arm with one bite. In my opinion, honey badger would win, because it is bigger 
It lives in a much more dangerous habitat than the Tasmanian Devil, and I think his thick skin could face the Tasmanian Devil. I'm waiting for your opinion. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.